Welcome to DAS Audio's event series array rigging tutorial. In this video, we'll show you the steps to correctly fly event line array series systems. We'll work with the event 210A using four units that have been previously mounted on a PL event 210S metal dolly. Keep in mind that the flying method we demonstrate for the event 210A system can also be used for the event 208A model. The first step is to attach the AX suspension system, which consists of three parts. A main part called the pickup bar, and two lateral attachment parts. We use the AX Event 210 in this case, and attach the two lateral parts to the top of the first four units that will be used at the top of our array system. Flip up the guides on the top of the cabinet to attach the lateral AX parts. Note that you'll hear a click when the front guide slips into the correct position. There is no click with the rear guide. You can see the words Fix Angle printed on the side of the rear guide. Put the security pin in the hole marked 0 degrees. Now we'll attach the lateral AX parts by inserting the security pins. It is critically important to verify the security pins are correctly installed because they will support the entire array. Using the Ease Focus program, we can determine which points on the lateral parts to secure to the AX pickup bar. Because these pins will support the array, it is critically important to ensure that both the security pins and the pickup bar are properly positioned and secured. Now, simply attach the chain motor to the AX pickup bar. The angles of the remaining cabinets should also be assigned at this point. Using the Ease Focus program, we can determine the angle that corresponds to each cabinet in order to design an array with a desired response. Remove the rear link pin from the top cabinet. Use the chain motor to slightly separate the cabinets and switch the fixed angle pin on the second cabinet from zero degrees to the desired angle. In this case, 0 0.5 degrees, according to Ease Focus software. Now, lower the chain motor so that the full weight of the cabinet once again rests on the others and introduce the security pin into the desired angle in the rear link of the first cabinet. In this case, 0 0.5 degrees. Repeat the process with the other cabinets and reset each of the security pins according to the desired angle. While rigging a line array system is faster and easier with two technicians, the event series systems are designed so that a single technician can safely, effortlessly, and quickly rig the system. To prevent accidents, keep hands away from the cabinets and hardware while raising and lowering the chain motor. The top set of cabinets are now rigged with the correctly assigned angles. Next, remove the dolly to add more cabinets. Remove the lower security pins that attach the cabinets to the dolly. And lift the first set of four cabinets with the chain motor, leaving enough space below to fit another set of cabinets. Remove the dolly and place it under the next set of cabinets. The pins that are removed can be placed in their corresponding holders to keep them on hand as you continue to attach the system. Flip up the guides on the top cabinet of the second set of cabinets. Lower the chain motor to connect the two sets. Align the holes in the front guide and lock with the security pin. Position the rear guide at the angle determined by the Ease Focus software. Repeat this step for the other cabinets in the set. Once all cabinets in the second set are rigged with the corresponding angles, remove the security pins that connect the cabinets to the dolly. 
Use the chain motor to lift the system to the desired height and remove the dolly. The Event Series line array system has been securely and easily rigged in record time. Disassembling the array is just as fast and easy. Lower the array, leaving room to position the dolly. Position the dolly right below the array's bottom cabinet and lower the array until all of its weight rests fully on the dolly. Be extremely careful, since the angles of the cabinets can make the system shift. Insert the security pins that connect the bottom cabinet to the dolly. In the rear guide, insert the rear link into the hole marked zero degrees. Then remove the rear link pin from the second unit and slightly raise the chain motor. Remove the fixed angle pin from the bottom cabinet. Align the holes in the rear guide with a zero degrees angle and insert the security pin again. Lower the array so that it once again rests on the cabinets and insert the second cabinet's rear link pin in the zero degrees angle. Please remember that the rear link pins should always be in the zero degrees hole for transportation. Repeat the process for all the other cabinets until a set of four is broken down. Raise the chain motor enough to be able to flip up both the front and rear guides and remove the set of cabinets. The process is the same for the next set of cabinets. Sets of three or four units are easily transported by truck thanks to a compact storage and transportation design that takes up the least amount of space possible. Up to three Event 218A subwoofers can easily be stacked on a dolly. Now you're ready to rig DAS Audio's Event 208A and Event 210A arrays. We hope our tutorial has been helpful. For more information, please visit www.dasaudio.com. Only experienced technicians with adequate knowledge of the equipment and hardware should fly cabinets. The user is responsible for complying with safety factors, resistance values, flying techniques, and periodic checks. Both the hardware and the security pins should be regularly inspected, and defective units must be replaced. Exercise caution when flying cabinets from the ceiling or other structures, and calculate its load-bearing capabilities beforehand. You should never fly loudspeakers from unsafe structures. DAS Audio. Thank you for your time.